this one is for Casey Neistat. Bike lane, three lane road, delivery car. See that? Get that? That's how they handle it in Spain. Good morning from Madrid. I am having breakfast, the very classical breakfast at La Austria. They are famous for everything, but this is what I take. A cafe solo, sumo de naranja, torrija. I will link the recipe below, but there is no way on earth you will achieve this gusto anywhere. So come here and you will, you will enjoy your breakfast as you never enjoyed a breakfast. And while you're at it, having breakfast at La Austriaca, you can as well go to El Orno de San Orofle, where they have just the best sweets in, well, at least in this part of Madrid. There is a lot of places with good sweets here. If I am absolutely honest, this vlog is not about technology or anything, it's, uh, it's about Madrid, because I'm in the city where my father came from and I hope you enjoy some uh, sights of this beautiful town. First thing I did is um, I went to buy some lottery because Spanish people are obsessed with the lottery and I am hoping to win some bigger amounts. <laughs> As everybody. If you're feeling adventurous here in Madrid, you buy a truck and become a delivery driver because in those tiny roads here, whenever you have to stop to deliver something, you have to stop right in the middle of the road and you're blocking the traffic for everybody because the city put down those pillars to avoid anybody would park at a place where you shouldn't park. This is why most deliveries are made manually here. Delivering stuff is... Um... until the one in front of you has delivered their stuff then you put yourself somewhere and um, deliver your stuff and even on a, on a motorbike you don't really have a chance to go through without getting stuck if it's not the cars that run you over in this city it's the uh, Buses here in Madrid are really small, so they fit into those small roads. Still, they get stuck. Second thing to do: walk down to Sol to grab a bocadillo de calamar, which is a, a bread roll filled with calamares fritos, a caña, which is a small beer, and um, yes, I know. And uh, yeah, patatas bravas. If you are going to Bravas, where I'm going right now, because it has been recommended by my. Primo. And while you're passing through Seoul, do what every tourist does. Take yourself a photo at the origin of all carreteras nacionales, which is, uh, yeah, the point where all the kilometers are measured. When you're driving from Madrid to some other place, then that's where you go. And if you touch it, or step on it, it means good luck. So, so do that. Go for it. Sorry. Gracias. <laughs> and that's um, how you win the lottery, I guess. Nah, closed. I think I'm too early. People in Spain eat after two o'clock. So if you come to Spain, be prepared to uh, have a heavy breakfast or just suffer being hungry and then eat at two and have dinner at nine. Changing places, changing plans. And this is the place where the first real Google hacking in Spain happened and perhaps the reason why the Spanish government isn't too happy with Google. People weren't happy with what the diputados, so the politicians did, and decided to leave Google reviews on this place. 
saying it was the place with the biggest sausages in the country or uh, claiming that this was the Cueva de Alibaba. Maybe that was a little too harsh on them because after that uh, the Spanish government decided that Google News for example shouldn't exist anymore and they put on some... I mean that is not related in any way but um, maybe still Google isn't such a popular thing at the Congreso de los Diputados. Um, it's their fault. This is, for me, the first time to see a shop that sells uh, sculptures on historic events like Guernica and uh, little sculptures of the people who went down in Spanish history. Either they are drilling for oil or somebody just found out that deep foundations are better for a city than just putting the houses where they had to be. If you ever come to Madrid, don't stay at one of those fancy quarters. Go to the place where Madrid happens at its best. It's Marasaña. This is uh, north from the center of Madrid. It's uh, the northern old town. And uh, you will find nice places like Buenasaña which is the opposite of Malasaña, obviously, where Maria treats you with very good food. I'm meeting with Alfonso for lunch at the statue of Goya. He was looking at traffic as he wanted to say, you're all gonna die, like in my paintings. Uh, he's one of the biggest influences for me, uh, graphic-wise. We are having a classical madrileño lunch, which is um, at 2 o'clock in a cafeteria and it's where everybody goes. And we're having cocido. <laughs> uh, cocido is something very special for you. It's all cooked in one, in one pot. So it's one menu from one pot. The soup is the first part, so you take the broth of everything that will be on the second plate and you take some noodles and some pimientos and you put them into the soup. So the broth is the soup for starters. And afterwards you get a plate that is um, everything else. Don't ask. A very important lesson in Spain, never ask what's inside. If it doesn't look like something you know, you don't want to know what it is. They put chickpeas in it and then the, this is, uh, it's not meat, it's something in between between the skin and the meat, so it moves. A sausage, another sausage, and meat. And then they put some Spanish chugru with it. And potatoes, of course. So this is the classical cocido. If you ever come to Madrid, you should also visit the um, Caja Forum. Yeah, never mind. Uh, this is what all the tourists do here. It is one of the places where they present great media art and even if you're not into media art or things like that you should still go and see the architecture because in this area all the old buildings have been fixed in a pretty impressive manner. Just around the corner from the uh, Caja Forum you will find the Media La Prado which is a place where uh, children and everybody else can learn about computers, art, uh, media in general. And behind me you see one of the biggest screens that I've ever seen. It's a, it's a video game and uh, it has interactive elements that happen here. So at night this is illuminated and you can play games. Well, you'll find it. Just go to the Caja Forum and then follow the big signs to Media La Prado. Um, that one. Madrid has some of the most impressive and biggest museums and uh, if you're here you will certainly want to go to the Prado or Reina Sofia or all the others. The Thyssen collection is one of the biggest collections of um, well, all the centuries. But honestly I can't be bothered to go inside a museum right now. It's so sunny and nice. I'm gonna enjoy the city. Um, we're gonna study life today.
I'm having not the classical lunch here in Madrid, but as the kings always said, they wanted fresh food. They made sure that the transport of fresh fish to the city is faster than to any other place. So what they say here in Spain is that the freshest fish is in Madrid. I'm in Lavapiés and this is one of the quarters where um, people are being evicted from their houses because gentrification hit the place quite strong and yeah, it's not all this easy living in Madrid. There are still some heavy problems with uh, yeah, the society that drifts apart. One side the people who can't afford to live here anymore and the other people who just buy the places and gentrificate the places to make some business. It's the usual thing, but it's not a good thing for a society. Uh, still, let's not bother about that. Let's have lunch. Mm. Oh. Fresquito. <laughs> Family dinner. This is how family dinners in Spain look like. <laughs> la quemada just arrived. The, the, la quemada is, is it's a drink that you take after having had dinner. The lunitus das nawas veigas, corpos pinigas amiga. Quedanas que non poden deixar la queimada, non non guardien de quedan de purificadas. You burn the drink and you pray for it while you're sweating because it's really hot because it's really burning. Esto no pasará. Esto es para dos. Alfonso Felipe. They take you out to go to the Spanish countryside and you expect it to be sunny and everything and... Frickin' snow! We are, as I learned, Domingueros, which is uh, Sundayers. Uh, people who take their cars and go out somewhere from the city to the countryside. Mm -hmm. 